It is my extreme pleasure to introduce people that are doing such really interesting things in our community. And Dance Crazy Inc. is no exception because they're getting kids out on the floor and dancing. And we're talking ballroom dancing. Next to me is Ann Palin. She is the president of uh, Dance Crazy. And next to her, we have a grandmother that's joining us, Kathleen Gill. She's also a fundraiser and she's a supporter of Dance Crazy. And next to her, we have uh, Carly. Hi, Carly. Hi. She's an eighth grader and she is a dancer. Not that anyone else isn't. <laughs> and then at the end, we have a music teacher, Alejandro Williams, and we're so excited to have him as well because he's involved in the project. We're going to let Ann tell us a little bit about what Dance Crazy is. Well, thank you, Ann, for inviting us. It's so nice to be here. Dance Crazy is a registered nonprofit organization. We teach fourth and fifth grade children ballroom dancing. We teach them six different dances. And what at, are they? Uh, we teach them waltz, foxtrot, cha-cha, uh, rumba, tango, swing. Did I leave anything out? Jitterbug. Jitterbug, thank you. Oh, okay, good, good, <laughs> yeah, good. I'm yeah. glad to hear that. Um, and it's a 16-week program in the, you know, in the elementary schools. Uh, they take classes twice a week, one hour. Is it part of gym? No, no, this is an after this school. Is oh, okay. yeah, this is after school. Yeah, because they should get gym credit for this. Yeah, I know. It would be nice if they did. Yeah, that should be <laughs> yeah, part of the curriculum. Yeah. Oh, wow. No, they. Um, In another world. <laughs> yeah, someday. <laughs> uh, and then at the end of the 16 weeks, we have a competition uh, between the schools. And in fact, uh, Carly's school. Four years in a row? I think so. I think, yeah, I think they're the wow. four years in a row champions, yeah. Well, well yeah. Carly, what school do you go to? Yeah, um, because I always get them mixed up. So. Well, right now I'm going to RCS Middle School, but I went to A.W. Becker. Okay, good. And did you? when did you start and why did you start? Well, I started when I was in fifth grade, and it just seemed interesting and different, and I hadn't seen it before, so I tried it. You know, it's very big in Japan. Ballroom dancing with kids and stuff yeah. is very big in Japan. Yeah. So we're just starting to get back on that. Yeah, yeah. And Kathleen, were you a ballroom dancer? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. But you I, encouraged your granddaughter. I love to watch the dancing. And um, I go to all the practices and the events and the galas. And I just sit there and beam with pride for my granddaughter and the other kids that are involved. Oh, in, my sure. in the, And we have a bunch of photos here. And I'm sure they're yeah. picking them up and showing some that you sent to us mm -hmm. while we're doing that. And there's some of the kids. We're seeing them right on there. And it, what an exciting event that must be. Alejandro, way down there, you are a music teacher. Yes, right. Do you also teach dance? Yes, I'm the dance instructor for Rensselaer Park Elementary School, and uh, I just became certified through Dance Crazy a couple of years ago. Oh, you have to be certified. I mean, I mean, you certify all your teachers? He runs his own program. Uh, ah, okay. in, in the school program, we will put professional dance instructors. Uh, these, these instructors have studied either through Arthur Murray, uh, Fred Astaire, okay. and they go out there. They're, paid, they're the only paid uh, people who are part of the organization. Okay. Everyone else... Uh, volunteers. We're all volunteers. Yeah, we know what that's like. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> and Alejandro, so you teach in the school. Right. And right. do you teach any special dances or do you teach all of them? No, I teach all of them. All, all the of dances, them? Yeah. Okay. Have you always yeah. danced? No, as a matter of fact, I, I owe the dancing that I experienced to Dance Crazy. If it wasn't for Dance Crazy, I would have never started dancing. And uh, I think as a male, there's always been a little bit of a stigma, you know. Where no, like, you it's know, sexy. Get, oh, I, I, yeah, I understand that now, but, but I think a lot of males face that, that same thing. Where, look, at, you know, look at Gene, you know, Gene Kelly and Arthur, or Arthur Murray, of course, right. with his wife. And then, I mean, they were, all of them were really Fred Astaire. I mean, they yeah. always had this kind of a... Well, I don't no, know what it was. There was something about those guys. I, I agree, I but, but there, you'll always find women on the dance floor readily, but the guys were, oh, a, little more, right. were a little more mm -hmm. you know, reluctant. But if it wasn't for Dance Crazy, I wouldn't have gotten out of that shell. And now I absolutely love it, and uh, I myself have taught a few uh, adult classes, too, on top of have that, to really? help That's to raise wonderful. the money. Yeah for our program here. And at our school, Rensselaer Park, it's all volunteer. There's no, there's no paid at all. So uh -huh. okay. all the teachers have participated, all volunteer. Right. Very now, proud. tell me, how many kids do you have in your class? Uh, when we start off, uh, we've started off with as many as 40 to 50 kids interested. Really? Then, right, yeah. Then That's we have great. to whittle it down from there. But yes, and, and it was wonderful because when we started off, we had uh, evenly matched 
boys and girls. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a disparate uh -huh. number between the boys and the girls, so we're very excited for that. And Carly, when you started, were there that many in your class? Um, I don't think there were that many, but there were definitely a lot more than we thought there would be. Now, do you, see, that's always, one of the problems is always the balance, mm -hmm. male, female. How do you, how do you handle that? I mean, do you, I mean, do you, how do you handle it? <laughs> as the kids are learning the dances and as they practice, you know, in the class, they rotate around, you know, so that they get to dance with everybody. Okay, good. You know, so that there's not just, you know, a single partner. Uh, you know, sometimes you may have a little bit better connection with someone else. So they rotate around. There's but, sometimes a know. chemistry between mm -hmm. dancers. And, you know, it's mm -hmm. like movement or whatever it is, there's something, because I know when I dance, sometimes I dance really well with one person. Mm -hmm. but, it's like I can't yeah. get the, something's missing. Yeah. So this yeah. is what the kids learn, is mm -hmm. how to dance mm -hmm. with different people. Yeah. Is that correct? That's right. Now, Carly mm -hmm. is actually part of what we call our alumni performance team. And I think team. we're showing some of the photos Some there, of that, yeah. yeah. Actually, that picture right there is a picture of Alejandro's performance group. Now, in the classes, there are six couples who are chosen for the competition and then the other students will actually have a special routine choreographed for them and that is something that uh, oh, Alejandro nice. did. I've seen, I've yes. seen that. When, yes. Even with mm -hmm. adults they do a routine yes, together. Yes, that's right. And, and it's very, very exciting. Very and it, exciting to in see. this way it gives the whole class a chance to participate right. in the competition. Now if somebody's watching right now and they've got kids and they say I'd really like them to get into a program would they contact you and yes. say maybe they could get absolutely. it in their schools? Or? Absolutely. Uh, we try and recruit schools. Uh, I try and contact uh, the principal. Sometimes it's the parent organization, you know, that we have to, uh, you work know, work with. with. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you know, because yeah. it, it's expensive to put these professional teachers out there oh, in the absolutely. schools. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So and, you need you know, to raise we, money. We do, do you a have lot any of fundraisers fundraising. coming up. Yeah. Or? Uh, you just Actually, had one. we just yes, we just had a marvelous uh, gala at the Hilton Garden Inn in Troy. They've oh. been so good to us. That is a nice place, very um, nice place, very accommodating. Wonderful there. to us and uh, we did, our theme was the Phantom of the Opera and Carly, as I say, is now on the alumni performance team. These are kids. How exciting. Who, yeah, <laughs> oh, they're, oh, they're just amazing what they do and these are uh, kids who have already been through the school program and we now coach them. It, it's outside of the school. Mm -hmm. They have practices on Friday evenings. The parents are just amazing. They come to all of these Committed. practices. They bring the kids. The kids are there and they work so hard. We have a wonderful uh, coach for them. Her name is Amber Werner. She's a professional teacher and she works with them. She choreographs their routines and well, what a great thing really, that you've yeah. been exposed to, yeah. Carly, yeah. and to have your grandmother just really be involved with the organization. Mm -hmm. And I know your mom's Carrie is in the audience. Yes, she is. And yeah. we're so pleased to have yeah. her here. And you also have a board member, yeah. Tom Smith, with yes. you today. Yes, yes, he's here in also the supporting us. So yes. we want to thank you all for yeah. being here and joining us in the audience. And, and if you want to join us in the audience, come on down at mm -hmm. 10 a.m. on Tuesday mornings, and you can join us and see who all of our guests are. Um, next week we're having a band, so come come Ooh. on. Yes. Then. Yeah, yeah sounds fun. good. We could have had Carly <laughs> Maybe we could dance. Right. Yes. <laughs> I want to thank you all for being here. We've been talking with Ann Palin, Kathleen Gill, uh, Carly Gill, and Alejandro uh, Williams, who is a teacher. So uh, thank you all for coming, and I hope that we showed you. We're going to show you the video. You. I wasn't sure yeah. how that worked, yeah. but if we can, yeah. we'll show it in oh, a break. Good. good. Thank and you. Show it.